Hey guys, it's another rainy day. We're out snakehead fishing. I'm using a pad crasher from Booyah. Um, my brother is using a baby ribbit. And we're gonna see if we can get any snakehead. This is a really good canal and lake. Just like this whole system is really good. Um, and hopefully we can get some snakehead and maybe even a big one. So stay tuned and we'll see you when we actually get some. And it was, oh, had one. Had a snake. It was a little guy though. Couldn't suck my frog all the way in. that there's a snake head there. How, why? Oh, wonderful, I spooked it. I cast it right over it three times. <sighs> okay guys, I didn't get the hook set on camera, but as soon as I turned my GoPro off, ooh, that's a good one, that's a good one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's probably three, four. Let's go. Darn it. I literally turned the GoPro off and that was like my second cast after. Oh, dude. He's not even hooked in the mouth. His hook's underneath. Okay. Probably a three and a half. I'm not gonna weigh him. He's, oh. He's not like my PB or anything, so I'm just gonna let him go. Actually, I'm gonna let him. Okay, never mind. <laughs> a lot of people say the snakeheads can walk on land and stuff. They they really can't. They just flop like any other fish. Like he slid in. He wasn't like moving like a snake or anything. Okay, let's get some more. I saw something surface right next to my frog. Not sure if it was a plucko or a snakehead. Oh gosh! I... Oh my gosh! I slipped and fell, and the snakehead ate it. Oh no, it's a bass! <laughs> that was awesome, dude. I was standing on the shore, slipped and fell right after I had this bass blow up. Oh, dude, that's a fatty. Oh my goodness. Great hook set. Dude, that's a freaking fat fish. Holy crap. Yeah, the fish in here are definitely healthy. Oh gosh, I might have like messed up his jaw <laughs> on the hook set. Dude, that's a freaking fat fish. He should only be like one and a half, but this guy is a good two, two and a half. Oh my gosh, I slipped again. Jeez. Okay, let's get some more. Oh, did you see that blow up? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I got him. I think that might be a good one. Yep, it, oh, that, that's a good one. Oh my gosh, he's trying to get me under the bank. Oh my gosh. Woo! I'm still recording. Oh my gosh. My PB snake is only 410. This might, this might be my PB. It's a five. Ah, uh, no. No, he's probably four. Oh, dude, that blow up was so cool. Oh my gosh. Perfect hook set right in the top of the mouth, too. Gee. No. 
Yeah, he's probably four. Oh, man. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna get my pliers for my new, brand new bag. Where are they? In here. Stop. No, don't. I wanna weigh you just in case, okay? You don't have to slap me. I'm just gonna keep him up there while I get my scale. I have a lot of beads. Okay. Turn on. Turn on. Turn on. Okay, there we go. Zeroed off. Uh, let's see how big you are, buddy. Nope. There we go. Uh. Oh, hold on. That the scale was being weird while it was doing that. It says 311, but it went from like four something to it went from like four or five to three eleven, and I'm just gonna. Never mind, that doesn't work. Uh, just get this in your mouth, dude. These things almost. Three twelve. So oh, John missed one. Okay, so almost four. Almost four pounds. That's a nice snakehead. I think there might be a second. Oh my gosh, they're on fry. Oh my gosh, I didn't notice that. There's a bunch of little baby snakehead. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, they're all like three inches long. Not even. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Wow. Okay guys, so I turned the GoPro off for about five seconds and I had already spooked two snakehead. Our... Okay, that duck literally just jumped into my line. Okay, I think there's just a lot of little ones in this canal. Ooh. I see that. Would you would you mind biting? Big snake under the tree. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Holy crap. Dude, that's a giant. Oh my gosh. That eat was insane. I just need to get him out of those weeds. Come on. Where is he? Oh my gosh. Okay, that's a good one. That's a good one. Dude. Oh my gosh, he completely choked that frog. Ah. That, that might be my first ever five pound snake. Oh crap. Nah. That might be my PB, I'm not sure. He's bigger than that one earlier. He's for sure bigger than that one earlier. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. That was insane. Oh my gosh, look at how we choked that frog. Dude, you can't even see that. Oh my gosh. That, that guy's long. The only problem is he's pretty skinny, so I assume he was on fry and that's why he's so bright orange. I know. As soon as I turn the GoPro off, 
I got one. Little guy. Oh! Okay, so I literally cast it in the same spot. I just had that one bite. And I got this little guy. So those two snakes were probably breeding or on fry or something. So. Okay, guys, so I turned the GoPro off for a little. I have that big snake I caught earlier. Oh my gosh. I just spooked something, probably about the size of this. Anyway, um, I'm gonna let this guy go if I can, but if I can't, I'm gonna take him home and eat him and do a catch and cook with him. So, if I do do a catch and cook, um, I want to have 10 likes by, I don't know, 10 likes until I post my next video. Like, before I post my next video. If I get 10 likes before I post my next video, oh gosh. Or not. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was just gonna say if I get 10 likes before my next video, I will do another catch and cook. But, um, I was planning to release them anyway if. I could, so that's actually probably a little better. Plus, we don't have a cooler or anything, so we'd just have to throw them in the back of the pickup truck. That wouldn't be too fun. So, um, we're gonna move spots now, and I'll see you guys in a little bit.